from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Good afternoon, Indian Hill. Welcome to another edition of Braves Beat. I'm Rachel Gerard. And I'm Emma Beck. Before we begin, we want to say a very special Happy Veterans Day for tomorrow to everyone. And thank you to all the veterans, past and present, who have fought for our country, including my dad. And my dad. Now let's get into the news. Finally, we have something to look forward to on a Monday. The annual Powder Puff Flag football game is coming our way next Monday, November 13th at 6.30 p.m. at Tomahawk Stadium. Hey, Rachel, what is better than our pillars? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's check in with Dakota for our pillar of the week, respect. Respect. What does it mean to have respect? Respect is a feeling of acceptance for someone or something based on their accomplishments, beliefs, or skills. But the question is, why? Why is it important to have respect? Let me show you an example first. Man, I know they're really bad this year, but still gotta love the Bengals. Dude, I feel the same. I unironically love the Steelers. How dare you? This is heresy. I respect your opinion. Oh, thank you, thank you. I respect yours as well. No problem, man. Asher and I have two different opinions of our sports teams. But does that mean we can't be friends? Absolutely not. Have respect for each other, for we are Braves. Last Saturday, our girls soccer team played against Tippecanoe in the regional finals and won 4-1. to one. Here's some footage from the game. The ball is nowhere to be found. Oh, never mind. Morgan Jackson just heads in over the goalkeeper. What a goal. Next is Margo. Oh, she's like, let me just take a shot, and guess what? He goes in right over the goalkeeper again. This time, Morgan gets a pass, makes the goalkeeper too easy. This is just too easy, man. Morgan Jackson again, she's running, she's like, I'm gonna smash it past the goalkeeper. Easy goal. 4 1. Good, good, good job. Well done. The girls also played Tuesday night and yet again came home with the win, defeating Big Wana in the state semifinal game. Scoring in the first 20 seconds, the Potagel sisters and Morgan Jackson led the girls to a 4-0 victory. For the first time since 2004, the girls are headed to the state championship game in Columbus today at 3.30 at Crew Stadium. Good luck girls, bring home those rings. Congratulations to Ben Bayless for his outstanding performance at the State Cross Country Championship last Saturday. Ben ran a personal record, 16 minutes and 19.5 seconds over the 5K course. To finish a 19th place out of the 180 competitors, Ben became the first male athlete in Indian Hill Cross Country history to earn a Cross Country State Championship medal. And hey, he's only a junior! Amazing job, Ben, and great season cross country. Today, we say goodbye to our Taiwan students from New Taipei. I had the chance to talk to them last week about their experiences here. So I'm with the exchange students, so I'm going to start them off by having all of you guys introduce yourselves. Okay, so hi, I'm uh, Athena. My name is Kiki. I'm Sabrina. I'm Jenny. So how are you guys liking Indian Hill? Um, it's really good. It's really good. cool school. It's very funny. Oh, the people here are so nice. Yeah, so friendly. I love it. How is it different from your guys' school? Mm, it's really big. And, yeah. and we don't have block days. Oh, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> we, we finish at school in Taiwan about 5 o'clock. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. What time do you guys start school in the morning if you end at 5? We start at 7.30. Yes. Yeah. So your days are just a lot longer than ours? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys' plans for Halloween? Um, I guess we're all going trick-or-treating. Yeah. Yeah. You guys all together? Um, um, maybe. 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 Yeah. 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 We've never done trick-or-treating because Halloween isn't celebrated in Taiwan. Oh, so yes. this is going to be your first time? Yeah, yes. my first time. Yeah. We hope you girls had a wonderful trip here and have a safe trip home. 
Last Friday night at Stargell Stadium, our Dogmen took on Taft and brought home a victory of 47-22. Come out tonight at 8 o'clock at Withrow Stadium after the girls' soccer game to watch the boys take on Wyoming yet again in their second round of the tournament. Let's pack the Sands Braves. It's going to be a great game. The beginning of November has arrived. Let's check in with Ahmed on our No Shave November candidates. Yo, Jordan, uh, you doing No Shave November? Yes, I am, Ahmed. All right, well, every week we're going to check in with you to see your progress. Let's hope you win. All right, you're going down, boy. Yeah. What's up, Alejandro? Hey, how are you? Uh, you doing No Shave November? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Adam, you doing No Shave November? Yo, Ahmed, I am. <laughs> All right, well, you're going to lose. Like, I love like Tiger Woods. Yeah, you need to grow a lot more to, like, have a chance. Here we have Mr. Ignatz doing No Shave November. How's it going so far? I mean, it's No Shave all the time. No Shave all the time? <laughs> November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, <laughs> September. Okay. All right, well, October. you're definitely going to win then if you don't shave at all. I'm going to let it. I'm going to just let it go. Yeah. Let it go. That's good. It'll look good, too. All right. Hi, Mr. Akiri. Are you doing No Shave November? Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to give it a shot. It's you versus Mr. Ignatz. Who do you think is going to win? Oh, I don't know. He's kind of burly, man. He's got like the Grizzly Adams beard. I, I feel like he's going <laughs> to win that one. Okay. If you want to participate in No Shave November, stop grooming now and let a Braves Beat member know. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, see us on Snapchat, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Have a great weekend, Braves. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. <laughs> Yo, Indian Hill. I'm Mr. Slonim, and let's go see some celebrity lookalikes. How's it going? I'm Chuck Bass. Yo, Verratti, what's your celebrity lookalike? Kevin Hart, obviously. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, definitely. You can see the resemblance? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Ben, what's your celebrity look like? Mo Farah. Why? Because we look the exact same. Uh, we're both runners. Uh, we're almost the same person. 